Coming up next, a UFC lightweight division bout. Well, what a pop from the crowd as this guy makes the walk. Such a well-rounded fighter. And you got to think when the opponent breaks him down on film, not a lot of weaknesses jump out of the video. This is a true mixed martial artist. May not stand out in any one area, but plus skills across the board. Probably comfortable just about anywhere this fight goes tonight. This guy is a very well-rounded fighter. You never know what he's gonna do. His striking is world-class, his ground game is excellent, and he mixes them up very well. All right, here he is, ladies and gentlemen. This is as accomplished a submission specialist as we've seen cross into the UFC in years. And other than the Damian Maya types, most guys just aren't used to facing opponents at this level. You gotta think he'll be trying to get this fight to the canvas early so he can work to set up a submission. This guy is an elite submission fighter. He has a world-class Brazilian jiu-jitsu game. And if he gets this fight to the ground, he will have a distinct advantage. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. More than five years apart, with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting at the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He's down six feet one is tall, weighing in at 146 pounds. Fighting out of Seattle, Washington, USA, Dash. And now he's using his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 13 wins, 11 losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, Alex. Bruce Leroy Caceres! And the action begins on the referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. Herb Dean draws the assignment here. You ready to fight? You ready? And here we go. And he's looking for that left. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Oh, big head kick there. Hit him Massive hard with that shot hook. is true. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. That's a big hook. And now he lands a combination. Well, he's always on the counter attack, but a nice leg kick there by Caceres. Huge kick to the body. That one got Bruce Leroy's attention. Powerful left hand. And there's that inside leg kick, Joe. Just missed with the straight left hand. So unguarded right into the pocket, and as such, he leans right into that uppercut, left the head wide open, and I'm not sure how many more of those, Joe, he's gonna be able to take. Let's see if he gets the hands up, tries to circle out, and get that head off the center line. Just misses with the straight right. And there he swung with a haymaker. Nice shot there from Caceres. Tags him. Clipped him with the right hand there. Let's go. Let's get the take down. This work. Nice punch by Caceres. 
under three minutes to go in round one. Leg kick now. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. That one hurt. He got tagged there. Ooh, well-placed kick. Oh, nice combination. Try to establish that jab. And both guys really throwing with authority. Very nice leg kick. Oh, he missed with that right hand. to go. Oh! Changes his stance. You'll see a lot of this from this fighter. Hard straight punch. Oh, here's the head kick. It's blocked. Slips the punch. The clinch up here. Oh, now the hook in the clinch by Caceres. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Tying him up here in the clinch. Good right hook. That knee might have landed there. And now he's got the tie clinch. Goes back to the southpaw stance here. Well, Joe, I know he respects the power coming back, but it looked like he moved right into that kick to the body, and his opponent landed it flush. So let's see if he changes up his footwork a little bit and tries to avoid further damage to the midsection moving forward. I like the way he mixed that up here. Oh! oh nice jab by Kisser. You gotta be careful when you throw the same technique over and over and over again. shot there just before you heard the horn so he gets saved by the bell the question is though what type of condition will he be in when he gets up off that stool 60 seconds here to recover the onus is on his corner to keep his head in the foot here's a nasty head kick that lands and another perfectly placed strike big round the beautiful Jenny Andrade to get us going Ready to fight. Ready. Round two underway. That last round was an all-out brawl. If they continue like that in this round, someone's getting knocked out. Oh, misses with the jab. Yep, not a ton behind it, but it landed. level MMA defense there, able to avoid the punch. Nice job by Caceres, man. How about that chin? Really swung for the fences with that hook, but misses. Oh, he connects there. Well, you're playing with fire there. He left the body wide open there, and he has shown an increased vulnerability to that strike, Joe, by leaning in, almost moving into the strike to set up his own offense. We'll see if he lowers that guard, lowers those elbows to prevent further damage. 
Look at that. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. Hurt him that with that uppercut. Uppercut. Oh, that head kick landed. He oh. rocked him. You gotta be careful there. Don't rush in. Just misses with the straight left hand. Oh! Able to check the high kick. Oh, good kick. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active lands an outside leg kick of his own. Good combination so far from both men. We pass the midpoint here of the fight. He lands a knee here. Clipped him with the jab. Looking for the left hook. Just over two minutes now to go in round two. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. All right, so he lands another jab here. You know, Joe, we didn't really see a whole lot of that from him in round one, but in round two, it has been all about that jab. Absolutely. Nice punch by Caceres, man. Oh, big kick. Yeah, Ooh, these are, what did you say about my mother there, punches? Joe. Big Superman punch. Very nice leg kick for him there. Can't take too many of those. So his opponent lands that kick to the body, Joe, and he has shown an increased susceptibility to that strike here tonight. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Flips the punch nicely there. Really threw a lot of power into that uppercut, but missed. That one hurt. And there's a nice jab. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. And he eats a high one. 30 seconds to go in the round. Going out of the body with that hook. Well done there by Caceres. 20 seconds left. Now he goes for the single leg. Nice hook. Straight right hand, no good. to the round, he got knocked down just before the final horn. You can classify that as saved by the bell. Here's a powerful punch that results in a knockdown. And let's see if we can get a better look at it from a different angle. Thank you very much, Carly Baker. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. He's definitely gonna wanna start this round off fast to try to pick up where he left off. His opponent was in big trouble at the end of that round. Oh, buckled him there, beautiful shot to the body. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, vicious knee to the body. He's hurt to the body. You can tell that shot hurt him bad. Oh, he's down. Oh, he 
snaps off the jab yet again. Beautiful use of the jab, really, start to finish tonight. Did it in the previous round and picking up right where he left off here. Well, you gotta love this performance here tonight, Joe. He continues to land a high number of strikes just as he did in the previous round and seemingly not slowing down at all here tonight. Caceres gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Able to land to the body there with the left kick. Look at that nasty jab. Attempts a big hook to the head, but misses. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shots. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here, really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Yeah, he's got a nice snap to that leg kick, very nice. How about that chin? Nice shot. Caceres' eye continues to swell shut here. Just over three minutes to go in our third and final round. Under three minutes to go in our third round. Oh! Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Oh! This could be it right here. Man has his chin been tested early. Oh! Caceres goes for the clinch now. Looks like a recovery mechanism here, Joe. Vicious, vicious punch combinations here. Caceres gets double underhooks here in the clinch. Normally now he'll try to change levels and go for a takedown. He lands a big shot from the bottom. Double underhooks, we'll see what he can do with it. Changes his stance. Under two minutes in our third and final round. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Man, Joe, he continues to leave that head open. His opponent's gotta be salivating at this point in time. That jab has been there all night. You gotta get that head off the center line. Big Ooh. right hand. Oh, very nice. Oh! This could be it! Big shot! Oh! The jab. Oh! He got him! Oh! Big body, body shot. shot there, too. He is getting off some huge punches here. Nice sweep. Wow, this is one of the bloodiest fights I think I can recall. Under a minute now to go in this one. Oh! He's out! Landed a gigantic kick for the knockout. Yeah, Joe, this fight was over as soon as that kick made contact. And you want to credit the offense and not denigrate the defense, but he did not get the guard up. And against this type of striker, you are absolutely playing with poison. So a near-perfect kick spells the end of this one here tonight. And here we see it from a different angle. Look at the power in that kick. And as soon as it lands, that is the end. Great angle here. Boom! Right on the money. And there he is after a massive knockout here tonight. Near perfect execution and a seminal moment for him here in the Octagon tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop for this contest at four minutes, four seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Alex Bruce So there's the man of the moment, just the way he drew it up here tonight as he gets his hand raised and does so emphatically. 
by way of the KO. Perhaps some bonus money is coming his way at the end of the night. I'm not sure. Still a few fights to go. But at the very least, you can be sure his next fight will be a big one. And he will celebrate deep into the night with his teammates, his coaches, and his friends after this monumental victory here under the bright lights tonight.